get hot, cold and compel. This for my niggas, put the guns in the drugs down. Dwelling in peace in the Lord, call for the blood hell. Try to decide my death, and got beside yourself. Swore drawn for what you perform, how you gon' hide yourself? Devil's got to die for his lies and his dreams. Ain't got no love for the crackers, nah, just cruel intentions. And then my father's house is spinning man. Police just shot him. Test one, two, 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 two. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. The Lord said, confession good for the soul. So right now. Little did I know I was in danger. Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger. All I wanted was to be a gangster. And shot call. To be known with them niggas letting shots off. Either that or the right hand to the top door. Funny how we see vanity, not the lives lost. Can't be focused on a life that's hopeless. Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord will kill you for that hocus pocus. Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry. Same ones claim they love you. I had no life in jeopardy. And I know my mother won't success for me. But that G should take a girl straight to ecstasy. Remember running with bruh, even though we did the wrong thing. My life would been a lot different if I fell up under Rob's wing. Was too sincere for a wicked game. Shame the Lord's name. Now we afflicted with pain. All I ever wanted was to be respected by stand up niggas. Not knowing that them handcuffs custom made the fight. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know. I was in danger. Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger. All I wanted was to be a gangster. I ain't lying, I was close to dying. Knew I wanted to live, but I wasn't trying. I was defiant, not knowing that this ain't how we live. The 
it's just how they design it. Cause when you win them streets, you get more indemnity. They don't tell you gonna be on papers and no restrictions. My father said I hard had to make a soft ass. I didn't care, I wanted fear when I walked past. In a place where a black man's blood is cheap. I thank the Lord for the day I was on Lake Street. Pissing in the cup, back and forth to court, found the DC school. I swear it felt like I crawled on that fucking porch. The Lord said, My sheep, they ain't hear my voice. Ask me why I'm UPK, I told them I ain't have a choice. They said, God ain't 50 50, and what's gonna come to pass? The Lord called me out the world, and I started running fast. All I wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know, I was in danger. Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger. Go ahead. All I wanted was to be a gangster. It should be paying until it hit the fan. I want power in the throne, nigga, fuck them grams. All I wanted was to be a gangster, but I was real as a righteous man. And now I got the upper hand, gotta promote this brand. Correct whole multitudes until they all understand. If I can't get that crown, Lord, then put me in the hands. Oh, someone more mighty make me this hit man. Reminiscing on the pain that was felt. Shit, I was in the jail. Shit, I needed help. But Twan was locked up in the judge, put man, man on the shelf. Heavy crack as it felt like I was left by myself. One no cowards in a tent, in a tent. SUPK 53rd Annual Low Passover 53rd Annual Lord's Passover is going to be held down here in Florida It's going down You are here tonight to get a chance to be righteous enough to be worthy of God Come on to save you That's right It's going down the Lord's 53rd Annual Passover. When we say we no coward, we stop that business. We no cowards up in here. Book your hotels now at the Holiday Inn Express and Suites. The IHG Hotel, 301 Tucker Lane, Cocoa Beach, Florida. 329 to 6. Here's a lot of men down. You dealing with the men of war. We at war. I sided with the Lord. Oh, Pastor, call your dishes, pots, and sports nights. I got a blanket. This is like an apartment. And a hotel. You know what I mean? This is here right here. It's about to be holy ground. This is going to be holy ground. All our beautiful, wonderful brothers and sisters from all over the world. You understand, we can boast that now. Brothers and sisters coming not only from this every state, but from all over the world. I heard the numbers this year is ridiculous. We had to buy out the whole hotel. Friday, April 15th, at the Space Coast Convention Center. My camp undefeated, you cannot debate. You just want the clout, we just want the grace. I'm just trying to get it. This is going to be glorious. Tune in to Unplugged from the Matrix every Friday from 12 to 2 p.m. Get unplugged. Preaching proper to the Lord, gotta teach the speak, exposing all the lies with the truth. Now they can see the evil, we the lost children of the Lord. Y'all should holler, chopping heads off with my sword. Holy Bible, one west, one west, one west, one west, one west. Kaboom, bang. Yes, let's do it. Hey, Shalom, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shabrakatam. 
to all the brothers, Yahweh Shemalatan Bashem Yahushai, to all the sisters. Yeah, man, this is another episode of Unplugged from the Matrix podcast. Live in full effect. You know what I mean? I'm priest and officer of a thousand ayahs ab with my right hand man on the left. Salaki priest and officer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um he'll come the, the, the oppressor is the devil the bible speaks so. damn, damn right. right yeah probably just wipe the lens or something you know uh, what I mean uh, uh Captain Yagaru up of 10,000 uh, may not be with us today you know what I mean due to his heavy workload you know what I mean the different no, things I'm gonna spend a little bit of an echo just a little bit uh, not, not quite a little, little bit, bit. It's it's kind, of kind of pretty, pretty heavy, heavy echo. echo. You mean like a big bit? Con, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. sir. Yeah. Oh, you, it's you all good it? now. You, you yeah. still hear me? Con, I hear you clear nice. Con, okay. You, so can can you all hear us out there in um, um, Cyberland? <laughs> yeah, you look um, fuzzy. Yeah, word, right? Let me see. Maybe I can uh, wipe the lens off or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me try something. Come on. Salak, you. Unplugged yeah, from the Matrix yeah. podcast, broadcasted out of North Carolina, you know what I mean? And Oklahoma City, when Cap do join us, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Brought to you by Commanding General Yahana in the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, you see that the I S U P K. Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Learn that. Yeah, man. We've been we've been off for a couple of days, you know what I mean? A couple of weeks, so to speak, because of, you know what I mean, a lot of things going on in the nation of Israel. We're getting prepared for the Lord's 53rd annual Passover. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Damn Damn right. The Most High in Christ and Commanding General Yohanna. You know what I mean? That's right. Again, Priest and Office of a Thousand Ayaz Ahab, Priest and Office of a Thousand Taba One Yahawada. Damn right. You know what I mean? What are we going to get into today, Taba? If you want to bring on anything before we get into the stories, um, come on. Come on. Come on. You might have to clip it a little early because I know you got to run. Come on. Come on. My hey. stay is earlier today, too. Ah, come on. Come on. Don't sweat. I ain't sleep yet since I came off the slave this morning from Good the night. Come on. You drove down from a husky. What what is it called? A husky. A husky. Where is that? That's yeah, that's in VA or is that North Carolina? It's like twenty five minutes from VA. Ah, okay. Most high in mm -hmm. Christ. God damn. No sweat out of one. You, you know what I'm saying? Brothers got to. You know what I'm saying? Do what they got to do, man. Getting ready for this Passover. So that's all I wanted to say real quick was. Most high in Christ for this Passover. That's yeah, about right. to take place next week. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, ooh we. <laughs> we have waited and waited and waited and waited and waited. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like Houston, it's like at the same time, it seems like it was last week, but it also seems like it was three years ago because I've been waiting for, you know what I'm saying, to be back with all my brothers for so long. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Right. And so, you know, it's also good to be back on the show, of course, with the water to everybody that's tuning in with us, that's been rocking out with us. You know what I'm saying? Like, we appreciate the love. I mean, you know, we're going to definitely continue, continue, you know what I'm saying, to build up this platform Damn for right. all the viewers, you know what I'm saying, to make sure we represent this thing One West style as always, okay? So that's really all I wanted to say, you know what I'm saying, as far as before we get into today's stories, you know what I mean? So again, we're going to talk about it a little bit later, um, but also look out for the fact that next week, of course, we're going to be in Cocoa Beach, man. Yeah, and right. yes, we're going to have this special edition, Unplug from the Matrix. You Come understand? On, and it's perfect, too, because why? So See, like <laughs> this, unlike la the last year's was crazy. It was. It was crazy, right? It was beautiful. But the way it ended up working out, that was, I want to say, we did, we did the Unplug from the Matrix, and then we went to the mansion party that night, I think. Yes. That's what happened. Ooh -wee. And then and then the pa the actual Passover was the next night. Mm -hmm. Well, this time we're gonna be doing it right before the actual Passover. 
Right. So you're going to be able to watch Unplug from the Matrix and you're going to see the Passover preparations going in real time. You understand? Yeah. It's go so it's going to be like a just a, a before party, then the party, then the after party. It's just going to be it's going to be crazy lit. So most high Christ can't wait for that, man. Can't and, wait and for I that. And pro- I promise, Taba, listen, what's mm-hmm. going to happen is I'm going to broadcast all throughout the damn thing, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I, I promise. Yeah. So hold up. So wait, wait. Are you are you telling me that people are going to be able to get an exclusive look inside the Passover directly from the unplugged from the Matrix channel? Directly. I mean, damn. I so mean, I like, know what's going? On. I already got. <laughs> me, I already got me a, a hot spot. You know, what I mean, with millions of gigs of, of uh-huh. internet. You know, what I mean. So this is going to be so. It's, it's, it's gonna be like stupid, but in the in the best sense of the word, like like you know what I'm saying, like back in it's the nineties, it's, it's, it's that's a better word. Yeah. <laughs> that's a better word. So how you been, I, brother? I I've mean, been good out of one. I've been man, I've been, you know saying, doing doing tawab, sir. You know what I'm saying again, like you said, it's getting everything prepared for the Passover. You know what I'm saying? You know how it is. Them demons try to get you and everything. Try to slip it up. Try to slip you up, but they can't get us, man. Can't get a real priest. It cannot be done. You know what I mean. So we gonna keep keep doing what we do. We say, sir, them them, them who did what? Uh, Polly want a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got another uh, good show for y'all today. Don't don't mind my cup. You yeah, know? don't mind mine either. I hop all around the place. <laughs> we got another good show for y'all, man. So we gonna Let's talk about a few things. Call. If you don't mind, yes, come on, come. So yes, let's do that. We got, we got um, officer, I'm a one. I'm a one. What's going you know on, I brother? You how about you? Uh, come we, we got another. I think that I'm might one. be no, that's, that's the I'm mean, just he's just um, he's on watching on two different uh, oh, that's the channels. Come on, brother, you faked me just now. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, uh, uh Virginia Meta. that's mm-hmm. that's a sister, um, all the way down in, in, in the Caribbean. Oh, you most high Christ. Shalom, yeah, I, sis. Don't know, I don't know if she 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 um moved to o- some place overseas, but I know the last time I, I, I knew she was in the Caribbean. You know what I mean? So big up yourself, yeah. sisters for joining us. I mean, we got Napash. Hey, what's going on, bro? Yeah, about some shakata. Yeah, about some shakata. What's going on? We got Daniel Lynn. Shalom, Lynn sis. Carolina. Shalom, sis. To water for joining Most us. Christ. You know yeah. I mean? yeah, so that, that's oh, what we got, God. man. Okay, that's a special high for me. That's what's up. Uh, this this is my first time here. Is something I'm. What, what you say? She said, "Is someone going to greet me?" We we just did. Says we did we did okay. it in Hebrew though. <laughs> yeah, we, we did. may not be familiar with the Hebrew. We said Shalom, yeah. Yahweh Shamar Alatha, Bashim Yahweh Shai, which means, in which in Hebrew means in English means well, Saki. It's it's Hebrew, and in English, what that means is. May the Most High watch over you in the name of Christ. Count mm-hmm. all right. So yeah, let's get right into it, Ottawa. So yeah, man, let's see what we're gonna do. We gonna, I mean, you we got some breaking food? news. We got some breaking news. Something of breaking news, man. Um, I don't know if they got um Captain Yagarwap's care package in Ukraine. I don't know if they got it because um. They still they're having some issues out there. They're having some struggles out there in the Ukraine, man. That's that's what's I think a bus was it a bus or something? They tried to get some evacuees out, and Russia dropped, I don't know, some kind of heavy artillery on the Ukraine wow. and blew up like 30 people. That's so excellent. you know that, that care package. I mean, we, we tried, but you know what, what can we do? Okay. So that's what's going on in Ukraine. We might read a little bit more on that story later, just to you know inform the brothers and sisters, get you know to know what's going on. We also got another story, a more important story that I really want to get to mm-hmm. is the story about the Ukrainians coming through Mexico. More updates on that. We might end the show with that today. Huh, we're gonna run through these pretty fast, right? Yeah. But let's get to this, this these other stories real quick. So you can, the first one I sent you, we can start there on one. Because well, yeah, we can start there because <clears throat> Again, while uh, the, the 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 news is telling all of our people and Ukraine flags everywhere, Ukraine this and the Ukraine that, 
let's see what's going on with people that, you know, with, with, with our people. Let's see what's going on with black people in America. Yeah, we know that they dropped the bomb on a bus in the Ukraine. Yeah, man, that's terrible. That's terrible. But what's happening right here in our backyard while we continue to love the people who destroy us? Right. You understand? So you, if you're going to get that on the on the screen, out of one. Count another two out. Count, yeah, yeah, take your time, sir. Again, unplug from the Matrix podcast, man. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget that. Make Do sure y'all forget. like, share, and subscribe. Yes. Tell a yes. friend. Tell a friend. It's no, right there in big, bold letters. Yeah. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Like, share, and subscribe to the Unplug from the Matrix podcast. First of all, and make sure y'all click the bell. If you're on YouTube, make sure you click the bell icon so you can get those notifications. You want to be able to, when we, like I said, we going to have exclusive. Like, I don't want, I don't want to give them everything. Don't. But what you just said, there's going to be some stuff that you're only going to see on the Unplug from the Matrix podcast. Mm -hmm. That's the only place you're going to get it. Nothing against them. I know my other brothers and all the different podcasts got something in store for y'all. You know what I mean? But I'm just speaking on what we're trying to do right now. So you want to make sure you subscribe. So when we do what we do, Passover Day, it goes right to your to your device and you're notified. All right. Yeah, I mean, also pay your tithes, man. Oh, how could I forget? Yeah, don't 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 give your lying Christian pastor that money. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah don't. Man in general, Yahana. That's right. You know That's I mean? right. Damn yeah. right. He, he he feed people and and pay your rent and fix your teeth and he does that for real for real. Calm. Yeah. You know what I mean, he and he fed, he fed over three thousand people, uh, Haitian brothers and sisters who were sleeping under the bridge. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Not too long ago in Mexico. Damn he right. Did, he did that, and while the Christian church was closed. Calm, calm. You know what I mean? And, also, and if I may, sir. Okay, like, please, I don't want. I was just gonna say, also, just donate to the channel. You know what I mean? Send it to That's this shop right here. Damn Help right. us keep this thing, you know what I mean, afloat. That's right. That's right. Yeah, slacker, Absolutely. Brother. No, I, I was going to say also, out of one, that he, he didn't um stash, he don't got a stash of money in the walls. Um, yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? He don't, he don't, he don't got, uh, you know what I'm saying, wads of cash in the drywall in Harlem or in Philly. Right. So there's that as well. All right. Your Christian pastor yeah, absolutely man. does. He's a disgusting piece of garbage. All right. Now. Yeah, right. Put this on the screen. I don't want this one right here. Like is like, it's extremely sad. It is, but it's a it's something that it's like our people have to see this. When I came into the ISUPK under Commander General Yohana, obviously I learned about you know heathens. Learned about the mostly I learned that the oppressor was the devil the Bible speaks of. Mm -hmm. And I learned about a verse that we're going to read about a scripture. Matter of fact, let me read it first right before we get into this. I don't want to please break it down right before we get into this. I want you to think about this scripture as we read this horrible story. We go into the apocrypha. Salakia, most high in Christ. I love the vibes. We're going to the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. Never trust thine enemy. Now, now, the bro what the brother is about to read, right? At the end of the day, a lot of our people inside of America and all over the earth do not know who our enemies are. That's right. You know what I mean? So in order for us to understand the scripture, we have to, you know, I mean, unplug ourselves from the lies of Christianity and religion, period. That's right. You know what I mean? We have to, it's, it's inevitable that we do it. The Lord will require it of us eventually, so it's best we just do it now. You know what I mean? That's right. Our enemies are the people who have been abusing us for over 400 years. Damn right. The people who have put their foot on our necks, you know what I'm saying, and shoot us come, in the come. back. That's right. And, and, and put drugs and all kinds of manner of evil in our communities to destroy us. You know what I mean? Come, come These on. are our enemies. And, and, and right. we know who they are, but we won't admit it because of religion. That's right. And these other things. Damn so right. as the brother is going to read, we're going to break it down. Go ahead. Come, come on. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. Never trust thine enemy. Never trust thine enemy. The Lord is saying, do not trust your enemy. That's right. And our enemy is not each other. You know what I mean? Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. We are our, 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 from the same family. You know what I'm saying? Right. We, we, we are not different.
when I say not different, I'm simply saying that we are not uh, part of other nations. You, you know what I'm saying? Right, sir. I lost you there for a second, Tabo. Right, I, I clicked something and it did some nonsense. Can you hear me though, sir? Can, can. Loud and clear. Can, can. You, know you two are. You know what I mean? We, we, we are brothers and sisters, you know what I mean? From different tribes and different walks of life and so on and so forth. So forth. But we all are one. That's Just right. imagine you got you got um, brothers and sisters that you don't know. You know what I mean? Your father probably had outside kids or whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? I'm giving you a loose analogy so right. you understand. This is how we are. We're scattered all over. You know That's what I mean? Right. And even in our own neighborhoods, the brother who looks just like me is my brother. That's right. You know I mean, even if I don't know him. That's right. You know what I mean? And even if he does something to me, the laws of God says that I cannot bear any grudge against him. I got to forgive right. him. Yeah, you know what I mean? So he's not my enemy. All enemies are the people who have systematically oppressed and destroy us. You know what I mean? That's right. Never trust thine enemy. Keep going, brother. Come, come. For like as iron rusteth, mm -hmm. so is his wickedness. Let me ask this question. And, and, and we got we got a lot of people here in the chat. When something gets um rust on it, can you reverse that that effect of of corrosion and, and, and decay and rust? Can you reverse it? Give you all like a, a, a 60 seconds. Go ahead, Tabo. No, no, no I'll, I'll let the people, you know what I'm saying? I'll let, I'll let the people take a, you know, a stab at it. Yeah, take you a shot I mean? at brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying? Can you reverse rust? If you have a rusty nail that has been corroded by rust, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Can you reverse that into a new nail? Right, that's he. I better pay close attention to what the other one is, is asking. You know what I'm saying? Think deeply about what he's saying. So lock it, sir. That's an excellent, excellent, excellent way to um to word that. Um, Daniel says it depends. Well, you need to elaborate on what you mean. It depends. Is is is, is a simple yes or no? Can you reverse corrosion? A, a nail, a new nail, gets corroded, and rust builds up, and rust eats away at the nail. Can you renew that? She said no. Anybody else? And she's she's right. You cannot reverse the effects of rust. You, you know what I'm saying? Right. And what does the scripture say about this 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 uh, uh, enemy? Read it from the top tabas so they get the full context. Come on, come on. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter twelve and verse ten. Mm -hmm. Never trust thine enemy. Never trust your enemy. Go ahead. For like as iron rusteth, mm -hmm. so is his wickedness. So it is what? So is his wickedness. Now, now, Taba, you can give us some examples of, of the wickedness of our enemies. Come, come. Uh, an example of the wickedness of our enemies would be um, his, um, his Planned Parenthood. Mm -hmm. An example of the wickedness of our enemies would be his child support system. There you go. The, the ways he destroys the black family. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the way that we live, the, the, the oppression, the projects, the shanty town, mm -hmm. the barrio, mm -hmm. the, 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 the reservations. Projects? The, the projects, kind of the first one I said, but yeah, the projects. Um, uh, no, you talk about one. But um, uh, what's another? Um, the Trail of Tears. Mm. These are examples of the oppressors, the, the devil wickedness. You understand? And what we're about to read as the other one is breaking down so eloquently is that rust and if you could put i don't know if you could put um yeah uh officer uh yurashima khan rust destroys iron but rust is a form of erosion and corrosion as the sister said as well that cannot be reversed and we're going to read it and since that's why the sister said it said because of the she said um depends because of the chemicals which I understand what she's saying. Yes. Rust can be cleaned off, but it cannot be reversed. There you go. That's what I, that's why I don't want to ask it in that way. You can clean, so it'll appear that there's no rust, but let's read on and see what the Bible says, if I may, sir. Come on. Come on, come on. Verse 11. Though he humble himself mm. and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. 
and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. There you go. So basically what this is saying is what type of one just said and what we just said just now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? At the end of everything, this enemy is going to act like everything is okay and he's not wicked because mm -hmm. you have section eight. You know what I mean? Right. You get a stimulus check. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Um, whatever else, I can't even think of any righteous thing that the devil does or, or the, the enemy does for us really. You know what I mean? But for some of us who receive little gifts and trinkets from, you know what I mean, our enemies, we, we think that, you know what I mean? Eh, you know what I mean? The oppressor ain't that bad. Right. You know I mean? And then you find out that an oppressor has his knee on George Floyd's neck for nine That's months. right. That's right. That's and right. and then you then you find you find out that because you jogging and you go look inside of a house, the enemy jumps all on, on their vehicle and hunts you down like a wild animal and shoots you. That's right. You know what I mean? And with this story that we're about to bring out, that is that is just one of the other cases. You That's right. I mean? Damn right. This is why at the top of the scripture it says, never trust thine enemy. Damn right. Never let your guard down. That's right. Ne never think that in, inside of this society, we are right. We okay. And ain't nothing going to happen because, you know, they're not all, 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 you know what I mean? I'm going to say it. Not all white people bad. Not all Asians bad. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Until you meet the ones that will murder your son or your daughter in the street. That's right. Damn and right. You get no justice. That's right. You know what I'm saying? They will pull you out of your vehicle because you have an FTA. You'll go to jail for like half your life. Mm. Like you did a crime and you have no felonies. You know what I mean? Come, come, that's, sir. that's 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 the uh, that, that's the characteristic of your. Enemy. That's right. A lion, a lion eats uh, 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 zebras and, and 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 elephants if it can, if they can. Yeah. Come, you come. know what I mean. But you know who they don't eat? Each other. That's right. So we are food. We are prey for our enemies. This is why the scripture is specific. Never trust our enemies. Damn you right. Add anything to that, Taba? Nah, -uh, so we, we we can get right to this to this story. We are gonna keep this scripture rolling, and of course, other one. If you got any other scriptures you want to add to this, please at any time, uh, yeah. just interject. And also on, online, um, you know, what I'm saying if y'all got any comments, man. Again, this is an interactive show. You know what I'm saying? We still working on getting them phones. We got we got to get them phones. How they got it across the line radio. You know what I'm saying? But we we working on that. But if you got any comments, just, just go ahead and just type it into the chat. Anything. All right. Yeah, legit pro. Uh -huh. Listen, we got we got all of that already. You know what I mean? You just don't know it exists. You know what I mean? Yeah. So so um, what 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 I'll do is uh during the course of the show, I'll put up an email address so you can um email us, mm -hmm. and, and then um we will stay in 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 communication like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> you sound damn right. I, I, legit pro. I don't know if you male or female, but you know what I mean. You sound surprised. We laugh. Yeah, we laugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Con. So let's let's deal with this story right here. Top of the one, one con. Let's, let's, this is this is disgusting. I'm gonna read just the title of this, and I want you to think about your own lives, the way I had to think about my life when I came into the IGPK, the way I, I had to think about his life when he came right. into the IGPK. We all did. It says police. Alabama man bashes his black friend's head in with a shovel. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to read that again. I'm going to read it slowly. Police. Alabama man bashes his black friend's head in with a shovel. Ooh -wee. So... I mean, what what's what's the, what word here stands out to everybody before I even get reading this? Is there a word here that stands out that is just like, huh? That stands out in that scripture? I'll give you 20 seconds. 20 seconds. What word stands out in this headline right here? And this is this is not stuff that we're making up. 
is on the Atlanta Black Star. You mm -hmm. Google this, go and check out the stories for yourself. Stuff like that you won't see on CNN because they, you know what I mean? It's not important. <laughs> you know what I mean? They'll, they'll, they'll give you a story about a cat in a tree. Yeah. Before, before they give you a story like this. Yeah, a cat in the tree. That, that's, that's definitely oh. what they'll give you out of one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Shout out to Officer Pagaibawa out in DC. What's going on, bro? And From legit pro, yeah. and legit pro, yes. Mm -hmm. And I like both of y'all are correct, but I, I um I do like how legit pro put the quotation marks around it. Right there, I like that. You both obviously correct. That is the correct word. But so that means that these two individuals had a relationship before this. They were friends, mm -hmm. and he bashed his friend who just happened to be black in the head with a shovel good night Cl and this the claiming he thought man was a burglar then his story quickly fell apart let's read this man let me let me let me get it on my phone here Salakia. it was just a moment while you're getting it i'm gonna just i'm gonna just um i'm, I'm run through it a little bit so it says a five hundred thousand dollar bond is set for a uh, mobile alabama man who police say killed another man by hitting him over the head with a shovel and the pipe good night <laughs> Get, yeah i don't want I, I got it now there's a picture if you can scroll mm -hmm. down to the picture put the picture of this, of this there you go this lead if you could i don't want just leave that up there all right while i read this Khan, go ahead Y'all look at this while while I'm reading this. Throw out the other one. I am the bar. We got Ayar Banyashikar in the, in the spot. What's going on, bro? Yeah, how about you? We got the sister Makaya Banatia. How are the shalom, sis? What's going on, sis? Yeah, Shimon thought about Shimon was shot, man. Like the other one said, a five hundred thousand dollar bond is set for a mobile Alabama man who police say killed another man by hitting him over the head with a shovel and pipe. Prosecutors on the case told the judge at a bond hearing they believe the assault might have been racially motivated. The mm. attacker was white, victim was black. So on the left you have Etienne uh, Murray, and uh, this is this this is his name on the on the on the white of the right. Salakia so is Morgan Barnhill. Good night, Morgan Daniel Barnhill, twenty seven originally told the uh, told the officers in the mobile police department he struck a man because he thought an unknown burglar was breaking into his shed on March 29th How, however authorities say an investigation swiftly uncovered the man who knew the person he bashed in the head with two sharp and heavy objects it was his neighbor a 25 year old black man named Etienne Murray an officer close to the case said though the investigate through the investigation, it was, it was determined that the alleged victim, Barnhill, intentionally misled officers about an attempted burglary on the 4300 block of Windy Hill Circle East. Detectives discovered several inconsistencies in Barnhill's statement, the source continued, and determined he filed a false report claiming an unknown male was attempting to break into a shed on his property. Barnhill assaulted Murray with a garden shovel and a pipe and waited hours before calling authorities to report his injuries or the alleged crime he said he was preventing. Murray died three days later on April 1st. Police said there were no additional details about the incident, calling it an active homicide investigation. Barnhill's bail bond was set for $500,000 on April 4th. Should the bond be met, he will be required to wear an ankle bracelet and stay on house arrest. WKRG reports. The deceased mother said the two men were friends and her son was even invited over to Barnhill's home for a barbecue. She claimed Barnhill believed Murray stole a purse from his property. This is the last one we'll get into it. WTVY reports Linda Gale, Murray's mother, said, After he beat my baby, he left him there, didn't call for help didn't try for help if he would have called for help maybe my baby would still be here 
So now, 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 before before we even elaborate on this story here and, and, and give our, 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 you know what I mean, comments on the story. You know what I mean? Prison office of a thousand, Taba one Yahawada, he, he, he pulled the scripture that makes perfect sense. This is as a result of us trusting in our enemies. Mm -hmm. Going over to their house and doing certain things and X, Y, and Z and blah, blah, blah. And if I may, I want real quick. Come on. I want you, I want you to finish your point. But it to go with that, it's a result of us trusting our enemies. And also, this is a result of, as you said at the beginning of the show so, so excellently, it's the result of your nasty gay Christian pastor Damn not right. telling us who our enemies are. Damn right. Damn you right, Taba. This right here is the result of the Christian church. Specifically, if I may, Baba Kasha. Please, I don't want. You know what I mean? Um, Martin, Martin Luther King. Martin yep. Luther King. You know what I mean? The whole idea of we can little black this is a little black boy and a little white boy holding hands in hand oh let me i gotta get that quote out of one. Oh my i you're, gotta you're, get that quote can can you all know that right this is what martin luther king fought for this right here little black boys and little white boys walking hand in hand playing and everything nice they were friends but the little black boy he pulled the shut end of the stick you know what I mean? He pulled the short straw then. Because he's dead. And if anything, his friend that he was walking hand in hand with is just going to be on an ankle bracelet and then he's going to be on a t-shirt. That's right. Let that soak in for a little bit. You know what I mean? Let that soak in for a little bit. Come on, Taba, you have something there. Go ahead. Let me put it in there. Pause. So like, I, I, I didn't mean to. Um, now you too up. It's, 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 it's necessary. Yeah. I just wanted to put that up there because with the odd ones that I made again, perfect. This is what this is what MLK said. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna read it. He said, "I have a dream that one day little black boys and girls will be holding hands with little white boys and girls." Now, in 1965, mm -hmm. this was seen as such an excellent, beautiful thing to say. Yep. Tags, inspirational. It's just inspirational for him to have this dream when really he wanted to hold hands with adult white women. Right. And white boys. <laughs> at, the, at, at the Watergate Hotel. At the Watergate Hotel. But as Adawan said, this is the dream that MLK had that we just thought was so excellent. Now, Adawan, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Put the devil back up there with that brother that he viciously murdered, please, Bob Kushar. There's your dream right there. Yep. And really and truly, if, 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 if we got any sense, God damn it, this is actual, an actual nightmare. Mm -hmm. This is what this is. This is this is a nightmare. You know what I mean? So now we we got we got black so called black on black crime. We got Asian on black crime. We got white on black crime. We got black women on black men crime. Mm -hmm. So I mean, how when 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 does it end? Like how how we how we gonna fix it? You know what? Taba, Baba Kusha, can you get me Jeremiah 25, it's 23 and 25? That's oh, where God. it is, right? Can't believe so. Yeah, Baba Kusha. Let, 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 let the priest of the Lord unplug you from the matrix, the real way. Like right now, you, we're going to offer you the red pill. We, we, we're not even giving you the blue pill. There's no option now because right. we had <laughs> 60 years, 400 years of experiencing the blue pill. Now it's time to open our goddamn eyes and see the reality that we're faced with inside oh, of this God. place. It's the book of Jeremiah. And, and, and before you go, Taba, not okay. to be long-winded, listen, the brother just put up on the screen, right? That that quote of 
so-called Martin Luther King, and he said something heavy that resonated in my mind right now. He said, during that time, that was the perfect thing to say. Mm -hmm. It was excellent to say. It was, it was wonderful to say, you know what I mean? I have a dream. Black boys and girls, white boys and girls will hold hands and all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, 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 it made so much sense at the time for, for, you know what I mean? Bless your Christian hearts. You know what I mean? It made sense at the time. But what does our constitution say? What does the Bible say about what he said? Can you read that for me, Baba Gosha? Come on, this is the book. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23 and verse 25. Uh-huh. I have heard what the prophets said. Now, he's a prophet, meaning he's a spiritual leader, a religious leader, a leader for right. black people. That, right. you know what I mean? He had the influence on the people. This is why he had the, the, the march and all of that stuff. And you know what I mean? Silent protest. We got dogs sick on us all. We Because all people followed Martin Luther King. He was a prophet. You know what I mean? I have heard what the prophet said. Keep going, Taba. Come, come. I have heard what the prophet said. Mm -hmm. That prophesied lies in my Good name. Stuff. That, did, that did what? That prophesied lies. In my Martin, name, Martin Luther King did what? Prophesy lies. Uh huh. In my name. So the scripture is saying, and this is a prophecy. This this book was written thousands of years before Martin Luther King, and it's right. talking about Martin Luther King. That's and right. Know, and anybody that tries to, you know, what I mean, oh well, you're crazy. Keep reading the scripture, Baba Kasha, so we can right. see the truth. Call it a one con. Yeah. Come on, come on. Salakia, mm -hmm. I have heard what the prophet said mm -hmm. that prophesied lies in my name. Go ahead. Saying, Wait, I stop, have stop, dreams. Stop, 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 stop. Salakia, sir. You're rushing, you're rushing it, Taba. <laughs> Salakia, sir. You're rushing it. What book are you reading from? What 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 is the book? I'm reading from the King James Bible, sir. Right. And what, what chapter and verse in what book? This is, in, this is in the book of Jeremiah. Mm-hmm. Chapter 23, mm -hmm. we're in verse 25. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it up on the screen for I'll, brothers I'll, and sisters. Excellent. Excellent. Mm -hmm. yeah, let let them see that we're not reading from the magical book of ISUPK under command in General Yohanna. Right. We're, um, not, we're not reading from that one. Now I'm typing it in now. 23 and 25, right? Con, I don't want con. All right, Most High in Christ. We're reading from the same book. If you go in your grandmother's, uh, if you knock on the door and go in your grandmother's bedroom, right there, it's sitting on the shelf. Right there. Right. This is the book we're reading from. I mean, if you have a Bible, follow with us. You know what I'm saying? Read it from the top, Baba Kasha, so we can explain this foolishness, what happened to our brother getting bashed in his head with a shovel because he think that his enemy is his friend. Read That's it. right. Come on. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23 and verse 25. Mm-hmm. I have heard what the prophets said mm -hmm. that prophesy lies in my name. Go ahead. Saying. This is what this is what Martin Luther King said, and it's in the Bible. Go ahead. I have dreamed. See what now? I have dreamed. Say it one more time. I have dreamed. Go ahead. I have dreamed. Okay. Verse 26. Come on, come on. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Now, this brother right here, which is Martin Luther King, the same people that he loved let me, let me, murdered him. Highlight it. Damn right. The same people. I have dream. I have dream. It's in the Bible. And the same people who murdered our brother our enemies murdered Martin Luther King. So now you tell me if we crazy or is everything that you knew or know crazy and who taught it to you crazy? Because I know that, I mean, if it's the word of the, of the most high, I'm, I'm going to flow with that. That's right. You know, I mean, I'm not going to flow with nobody who telling me they have a dream where little boys and little girls going to be, you know, I mean, cuddling and hugging and then this happens. And it happened to him himself. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I'm oh, over with Anybody in the chat have anything to say about this? You know what I mean? 
And I know, I know we be, we be breaking records, the Guinness Book of Records. We be breaking <laughs> all the records. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why, why, am I say, why am I saying this, Taba? Is because a lot of people not focus on the actual reality that we're living in. You know what I mean? Everybody, you know what I mean, subscribing to some fictional type of, of, of lifestyle. And you know what I mean? We know America come. good me... and this and that. Go ahead, Taba. Sorry. Silaki. No, 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 no. Silaki, finish what you're saying, sir. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm too up. You know no, I, mean? I, I, I just want to finish this. Read a little. There's only a little bit more left in the article, and I want to read it because it just again just shows you. This is real. This is this is horrible. Okay. This is a quote from um. This is a quote from Murray's mother, Etienne Murray's mother. Mm -hmm. I want him to know he has shattered my world. Mm. The bereaved mother continued. He took my baby, and he didn't have to do that. Mm -hmm. If he feels like my child took something from him, why not call the police? Mm. Why not handle it the right way? Oh. Why take the cowardly way out and beat my child's head and leave him there? Good night. Now, listen to this. The mother said she doesn't want anything bad to happen to the man responsible for her son's death. Oh, my God. I don't want him to die because I don't want any mother feeling the pain that I feel right now. That's Christianity, goddammit. Yeah. Christianity. That's anity if I ever heard it in my life. Gail said no mother should have to bury her child, especially to senseless violence like this. But God damn it, you burying your child. You're gonna right. bury your son. So where's the justice? Right. That's what that's it, out of one. A well, bail bond has not been met for Barnhill, and he remains incarcerated in a mobile county jail in Alabama. Where's the justice, bro? <sighs> Give me one more scripture, man. Um, War is in his heart. I think it's Isaiah. Is Isaiah? No, it's Psalms uh, twenty, Psalms fifty-five and twenty-one. Psalms fifty-five and twenty-one. Let me get that real fast, Baba Gusha, and then we can move off of that story. Come, come. While the brother gets in the scripture, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Unplug from the Matrix. Click that notification bell, man. That's right. Frick it. Thumb up the video. Thumb up the video. Thumb up the video. You Thumb know what down. I mean? We're bringing out the truth according to, you know what I mean? The Bible and, and the reality that we're living in as black people, so-called black people, which, you know what I mean? Includes the Hispanic tribes, you know what I mean? And That's the Native right. American tribes. Damn you right. I mean? We are the same people. Through Christianity and other religion, we have been divided. You ever That's heard right. that old adage? To divide and conquer? That's what That's happened right. to us. And I we cannot wait to see. It's a lock it, it's a lock it sir. No, you too up. You too up. I just want to say, because no, because you just said something that just struck. I, I cannot wait to see what well, Ayar Banyashkar just said, man. I cannot wait to see my brothers in Cocoa Beach, Florida next week. I cannot wait to see La Raza in Cocoa Beach, Florida. Wait, you said that. I can't week. see you. You said man. black and brown. You now, you, I think you put it up there, sir, a second ago. Black and brown? Boom. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Come man. Boom. Come on. Boom. <laughs> Most high yeah. Christ. I got that scripture for you, sir. Come on. Go ahead. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 55 and verse 21. Mm -hmm. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. You see that? Now, this is going to tell you about somebody. And, and, and brothers and sisters, I know you know who this is talking about. And we have to wipe that anity off of us, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Take a washcloth, soap it up, wipe that anity off, and then take a, a, a towel and, you know what I mean? Wipe that clean off of us. You know what I mean? His words were smoother than butter. Who says things, nice things, smooth, you know what I mean? Slick. If I may, sir. Come on, Taba. Who says things like, um, yeah, you know, um, you know, we're going to give you some, some public assistance. Mm. We're gonna give you some uh some welfare, we're gonna give mm. you some food stamps, mm. we're gonna give you some section eight, you're not mm. gonna have to pay for your apartment mm. or any of that stuff. We care about the people stimulus and check. stimulus check, mm. you know, all tax of those returns. beautiful mm. things, a like tax return. Who's who, who who speaks smooth words like Sleepy Joe? Who talks about the hot sauce in their purse? Ooh, we. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I got hot sauce in my purse like you. Uh, I, was, I, was, I was listening to Snoop Dogg in college. 
So <laughs> like, even though, what, 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 wait, what, what's his real name? Slippy, I don't never. All right, Joe. <laughs> uh, Joseph Biden. Yeah. Oh my God! The smooth words they got. They, they was listening Woo. to Snoop Dogg in college, even though they was in college in like 1983. And he was. And she was he didn't drop his first album until like 93. Good night. Smooth words. Hillary Clinton doing the nay nay on a goddamn TV show. Right. Smooth words. They got all the smooth words for you, man. Yeah, I know you got smooth words. Let me let me put it back. Protect and serve. Up. I'm gonna put it up Smooth there. Word. Please, it, I don't want. Put it up there. I you know what I'm saying? We're for the people. Up. Yes. Let's Love. join hands. Smooth yeah. words. We shall overcome. Every day. Yeah. That's all smooth words. Look at him. Sleep. Look, look at Sleepy Joe. Yeah. Doesn't that look like that's just a smile? This you. That's smooth. That's words smoother than butter in human form. Yeah. His eyes. Is <laughs> the if eyes words good. smoother than butter? <laughs> was to come alive and be a person that's what that nigga would look like right look at him look at that slick he looks like the goddamn joker good night Smooth I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna photoshop this image and put the joker smile on him you know what i want i think that'd be real fly that i'm gonna do it i think that would be excellent the we words of the psalms <laughs> chapter 55 and verse 21 the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Mm. But war. Wait, before we go, before we go further, what does but really mean? If 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 you say, Yeah, man, I, I'm I'm gonna do this, I love this, this is fine, this is excellent. I totally understand what you're saying. But what does but mean? Anybody? For time's sake, but simply means that. Everything you just said is irrelevant. Mm -hmm. But keep going, Taba. Come on, come. But war mm. was in his heart. That's exactly what happened to our brother. That's right. And that's his example right there. White Jesus is also another example. Oh, damn. So soft and like tender. You know what I'm saying? I, I bet you, you know what I mean? Joe is a Christian and and and, and the brother who, who died, his so-called uh -huh. friend, which is his enemy, really. They're Christians, man. War uh -huh. is his heart. Any more on that? We're going to drop that. Come on, come on. We can drop that. Let me finish the scripture and then we can go ahead. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords in yeah, this man. case they were drawing pipes and shovels and shovels mm. everything Damn. we're saying is in the bible Taba. that's right so if you're all mad at us we're not responsible for your madness <laughs> <laughs> Take it Ooh, up with i see, I see yeah. what you did there yeah you know I I you <laughs> 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 oh wait a minute hold on wait wait before we go to the next story let me Come. say this too mm-hmm Y'all better go on that Patreon and get that. That what's the the ISUPK? What the the, the mixtape volume one? What's it? I, yeah, yeah, mixtape volume one. Y'all better ISU get that ISUPK mixtape volume one because guess what? Our very own unplugged from the Matrix, very own officer of a thousand Ayaza Ab got a goddamn smash hit on that joint. He got a hit. <laughs> Was can, we, can we play a little just a little like a little snippet a little 15 <laughs> just a little snip i'm gonna have to hold on a second just i'm gonna play this man yeah. no ways you go ahead and, and, and you sound a little bro robotic there out of one breaking up a little bit I, I was i was in the matrix a little bit Matrix a little bit out of why we could be a plug. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I, I see Are you my, good my, now? My browser freezing up on me. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, we, we good right now. But yeah, when you get a chance, I don't want to let the people hear this a little, little snippet of that joint. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna go on to the next, man. We're gonna go to the next. 
real quick. All right, Baba Kishah. Bear with me. This is another story. Um, and of course, if everybody can hear me good, like if if you know what I'm saying, if 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 I'm coming through, looks like Ottawa might be might be a little frozen right now. But if I'm coming through clean, just just type a one into the chat. Just type a one so we can see where the issues, if there's any issues, um, where they at. You know what I'm saying? If you could, Baba Kusha. Come, most high in Christ. The water, y'all. The water, brother. We gonna we gonna uh, go to a story. I wish I would have logged in. I would I could have been you know fixed that, but it's all good. We gonna go to another story off the Atlanta Black Star. It's it, it, it says it's a nightmare. This is a story out of New Orleans. It's a nightmare. New Orleans built homes on a toxic landfill and encouraged black residents to move there. Now officials refuse to move them or pay damages. Mm. Another one bites the dust. Here we go again. You understand? Like, Salakia. So I can't even click on it. To, to, so we're going to wait for I got to get back to put your, 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 your comment up there. But this um, brother said, Isaiah 49 15, can a woman forget her suckling child that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yeah, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee? Most high in Christ. Most high in Christ. That's a fact. That's a great scripture to go with what we just talked about, man. And this, in this place, man, we don't want justice in this place. You know what I'm saying? We've, we've been trained in America because of Martin Luther King and his dream of little white boys and girls holding hands with little black boys and girls you feel me we've been trained to not even want justice you know what i'm saying like we just look at everything we do got to be about the oppressor the only time we want justice when it comes to somebody that looks like us you know what i'm saying that's the only time we want justice in this place Khan, y'all said uh this channel on youtube Khan, 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 y'all yeah we on we on we on Right now, I'm not logged in, so I can't see. But we, usually, we broadcast from like five different channels. So we have um, an Unplug from the Matrix YouTube, a Unplug from the Matrix Facebook. We have a Twitch account that's under um, the KR144. Um, and then uh, Officer Yaza Op also broadcasts from a few of his own uh, Facebook channels. Um, one is called Unique Styles, uh, one, uh, Benjamin Wolf. And I think there's one more I can't think of at the moment. But yeah, we, we broadcasting on YouTube as well. You know what I'm saying? Can't. But yeah, man, we've been trained to not even not even want justice unless that's the people that look just like us, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the sad part, man. A black man. I mean, you think about the, 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 the gang violence in our communities. And it's like, that's all because we want justice when it's somebody that looks like us, man. The GDs don't hate the BDs for no reason. The GDs hate BDs because they got bad blood between them from, from murders, from killings and kidnappings and things like that that have happened over 50, 60 years, man. Bloods and Crips go back to the 60s. Norteños and Soreños, that, that stuff goes back years and years, man. The Mexican Mafia, you know what I'm saying? MS-13, Latin Kings. Those things go back years and years and years. But when it comes to each other, we want justice. You feel what I'm saying? In New York, where I'm from, the Woos and the Chos, the Crips versus the um the GDs, that's old. That's something that's been going on and building up for a long time. You feel what I'm saying? And so we only when when it comes to each other, we want justice. Oh, you stepped on my shoe. I gotta do something about it. You did something to my to my man's. I gotta do something about it. But when it comes, the oppressor can literally kill our baby, our child, and we'll say, "I don't want nothing bad to happen." Not in the ISUPK under Commanding General Yohanna. Yeah, we don't. You know, not here. You know, we don't want a song and a dance. We don't want you know. We want justice. King David wanted justice. King David said, "You know, what I'm saying, remember them." I'm paraphrasing. Uh, oh Lord. You know what I'm saying? Remember Edom in that day who said, raise it, raise it. Happy shall he be in that day that dasheth thy little ones against the stones. 
That's what King David said. He wanted justice. You, you back, out of one? Khan, I'm here. In full effect. Salaka. So I was waiting for you to get Salaka. back. You know what I'm saying? Khan, uh, 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 I was just telling Ayal, because he was asking about where we broadcasting from. I was just telling him, I'm not currently logged in um, into the stream yard onto the account. I'm just a guest right now, because I just didn't set it up correctly. Khan. But how many channels are we broadcasting from right now, sir? Salakia? About five. Uh, yeah, we, we, got, we got um, uh, Benjamin Wolf on, on Facebook, Unique Styles. Mm -hmm. We also got Unplugged from the Matrix itself mm -hmm. on Facebook. We also got um, Black Kings um, Media mm -hmm. um, on, on, on YouTube. Unplugged from the Matrix on YouTube and Twitch. Mm -hmm. KR144. We. Oh we most in Christ. So if we all get into this next story, I don't want you fight. Are you are you are you loading up that 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 fire? Yeah, the fire ready. You ready for the fire? <laughs> I mean, if you're ready, we can we can we can let that lead us into the next joint. All right, Ben. Um, brothers and sisters. Oh, no, I mean? yo, turn the turn the background music on first. I don't want turn the music on. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm muted for now. You know, what I mean, bam. Um, can I introduce the sir? Good, Tuba. Come on, <laughs> I don't need all that, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, brothers and sisters, you know the hey, Passover is coming up next week. He got, he got the fire already. Because he know he's a right. he's a piece of he's a prophet. He's a priest. He's a priest. You're right. You're right. Still like your brother. I perceive that thou art a priest, Ayar, and a prophet. <laughs> <laughs> you know that y'all know that the Paso is going down next week. Right. Y'all better this joint you about to hear. Y'all better get on that Patreon. Get with Captain Katiza. Y'all need this joint. Yeah, and I want y'all to play that in your headphones on the plane. Play it in your car while you're driving. And when we get down to Florida. I want to. I want to hear this joint blasting out of every vehicle. All y'all rentals. I know you went on Toro and rented the car. I want to hear everybody playing this joint. This the hottest joint to me right now. This is I'm the hottest the song in Israel right now. Adawan, let's let the good people, the good brothers and sisters, yeah, hear. Yeah. Hey, make me go again. Big boom. I got the Yo, I won west to the death. Yeah, fuck everything else. Big boot on me fringes. Girl, I tell me say she love the way how me change it. Everything sign and seal. Then I tell me say she love the deal. Yeah, yeah. Big boot on me fringes. Girl, I tell me say she love the way how me change it. Yeah. Family, you pick it, my. You would be a tell no straight out, and I'm a business. Uh -huh. Yeah, move real heavy. Uh -huh. 20 man, I jump out a couple Chevy. Well, yeah. zero. <laughs> my look happy. Round move to that boy in a double jump. And them a take off me, but me no care, man. Yeah, man. Everything else me still be upon. Judge a truth, me attack at the truth, and the part me escape on. Yeah. Delivered it off fire. Everything mm. up in the air, live fire, bonfire. This year what for my brothers and my sisters. We get cut off early. Big boots on my fringes. Girl, I tell me say she really love all the changes. Don't give him no more. That's it. Listen. Come on. Come on. I listen to my brother. So lock you, sir. <laughs> Y'all better get on that. Y'all better give it that time to get on that Patreon because I'm telling you, that album right there, the hottest joint in 2022 so far, man. They let that damn hand might win the Grammy for best rap album. That stuff is trash. Get that UPK mixtape. I'm trying to tell you, man. There's some other fire tracks on there, yes. man. Yo, man, come yes, on. Yes, man. man. Shout out to Danya Allah. Shout out to Captain Katza. Shout out to, shout out to King Ta, Captain Taha mm. War. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh, nah. Shout out to all the brothers, man. Shout out to uh uh, uh Kiyadwan. Kiyadwan. Shout out to Kiyadwan just came out with the EP. 
He just came out with the EP. You can get that joint on title right now. Spotify, all of that. UPK music is the best. Period. I'm going to have to create a new goddamn genre, bro. It's called UPK. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Straight up. Ooh-wee. That's the give that give me. Now, now I'm ready, y'all. Now I'm fired up. Let's go. All right. Let's, Let's go into the next one. Big boot, man. He said Big Bad Wolf. Yeah, really. Ah. We do know that my, my Zahab means wolf, right? That's right. Uh, <laughs> Zahab. <laughs> Most I <laughs> Christ, man. Yeah, let, let's let's get to this. Let's let's talk about this real quick, man. We only got we we gonna uh we gonna try to say we got another thirty minutes or so uh, huh. for today's show because myself and Ayaza Ab, like I said, man, we, these pe- think look, it's a good thing. These Passover preparations are very real. All my brothers in the yeah. chat, all my sisters too. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know that y'all ain't finished packing up that bag. You they're not. I know you know that you didn't count on one card. They, they, you know you didn't finish packing that bag. You know you still gotta gotta put them fringes on. You know you still gotta put that border of blue on. You already know. So I mean, this I, is this is this is my utility belt with everything <laughs> need for my broadcast. Right. <laughs> Most high in Christ. Yeah. Okay. So you, you know how? Put like, it on, please. Stop. Still like it, by the way. I just I gotta show this to you. Real fast. Can you see this? So that's the that's the new joint. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> that's what I want. You know what? I'm not even mad. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Now I, I ain't gonna go take too much on on live. But you know, you, you got some I hope I hope there's something on that laptop for me. Yeah, come. When come. we get up, come. so we're gonna be able to. One word is sufficient for the wise. No sweat. Kind. Most time in Christ. Kind. Next, we have another story. <laughs> 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 we got another story out of New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? This one, again, is very, very terrible and very sad. It says, it's a nightmare. New Orleans built homes on a toxic landfill and encouraged black residents to move there. Mm-hmm. Now officials refuse to move them or pay damages. Okay, this is a story from Ooh. yesterday. Right? That's a story it says... Me. Oh, yeah. I got you. I got you. My bad. My bad. Can I? No, you swap about one. Let me pull this up real fast. You go, you go ahead. I'm going right. on. It says, nearly three decades after learning their neighborhood was built on contaminated soil, Good government enough. officials have not fully compensated or relocated a group of black families for the inequity. New Orleans built... 67 houses atop a former garbage landfill after promoting the area as a chance to low income home ownership for African Americans in the late 1970s and early 1980s. When families moved in, they planted fruit trees and played in their backyards in Gordon Plaza, not knowing the dirt was filled with 149 toxic contaminants. Now, 49. It's a lucky, sir. Go ahead. You see that scripture um, we pulled just a while ago? What is it? Hmm? I mean, damn. You know what I mean? It's, 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 uh, the oppressor will give you stuff and he will smile, but war is in his heart. That's How right. many contaminants will in that soil, brother? Come on, man. Like, God damn it, man. Yeah, it says, not knowing. So when they moved in, they didn't know. No one told them this. Not knowing the dirt was filled with 149 toxic contaminants. Let me read a little bit more so we can so we can uh, uh, really dig into your spirit. 49 of them linked to cancer. Good night. According to analysis by the Environmental Protection Agency in the 1990s. But I don't want we crazy niggas on the corner, right, sir? Khan, we don't know what we're talking about. We need a job. We a hate group. We a cult. Yeah. We're a hate group. We're a cult. And all we talk about is race. But they purposely told black people this was a good way for them to be homeowners. 
And they didn't know for 30 years that the land was originally a, a landfill. And the, and the funny thing is this is a, a garbage landfill, but it's obvious it was more than a garbage landfill. Right. They were dumping toxic radioactive chemicals. Why else would 49 of the contaminating factors be carcinogenic or cause cancer? They were dumping radioactive materials in that place. And they told black people to move there. It says, it is considered one of the worst examples of environmental injustice in U.S. history, according to a recent Washington Post report. Read that one more time, Tabo. It is considered one of the worst examples of environmental injustice in U.S. history. And, and, according and, and, yeah, please. Silaki, Silaki. No, no, please, I don't want. And, and, what, what, what I want all people to wrap their mind around is that the people who write these articles, they did their research, they know what they're talking about. This is not fictional, it's not a novel. It's real situations, real stuff that happened to our people because we trusted the enemy. You understand what I'm saying? Because we put the, our trust in the people who have had a perpetual hatred for us mm -hmm. since the womb. You know what I mean? And as a result, we get contaminated land that, that eventually, you know what I mean, we die because we plant, you know what I mean, horticulture, do all our different stuff like that, agriculture, whatever. And then because of the contaminated um, soil, we die. Mm -hmm. But we took it because little black boys, little black girls. Little white boys, little white girls. You see how everything ties in together? This is why this is why it, it, is, it is very important that our people come into the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge under commanding General Yohanna. You know what I mean? Everybody afraid this Bible, but this Bible is the only thing that can fix us. The only thing that can fix us. You know what I mean? I, I'm going to put it back in there. You know what I mean? Never trust thine enemy. You know what I mean? Because his wickedness is... You can't, you can't take away the wickedness of, of, of our enemy or, or the oppressor or the people who have been destroying us. You can't do it. We can't be naive no more. It's, it's 2022. Right. Come on now. That's right. Come on. Come on. If I may, sir. Come on, Tabo. One. Could, could you put um, also Pagaiba was second um, comment there on Ezekiel? Could you put that up real quick? Come. I just want to read a little bit of the water for that, um, Pagaiba was. Again, my brother, this, oh, yeah, this, he got this, you around 28 and 50 as well. That's a tough I'm, 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 I'm gonna read both. We're gonna read it real quick. You know, what I'm so you can break yeah. them down, sir. Shout yeah, out to you me as well. Uh, the water, so shout out to Pagaiba, of course, for having the most Tawab name, in my opinion, in Israel. Like, Pagaiba, I, think, I, I, I can't say over that. I don't know what, what does it mean. Pagaiba is the word that means fall on him, it's the order yeah. that you get if you were at camp. God, and, God. Some, and some crazy nigga decides I'm going to go against this camp. I'm going to try. It's 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 an order that is rarely given, but if ever that happens, the camp leader is going to yell Pagaiba. Get it right out. Get it right out. <laughs> Ooh, wait. Sad Christ. But he brought us some excellent scriptures. Let me read this one first. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 35. In verse 5, uh -huh. because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood mm. of the children of Israel mm. by the force of the sword Good in the night. time of their calamity. Good night. In the time that their iniquity had an end. Now, you know what this is talking about? This is simply saying that, yeah, all right, we disobey our God and we were put into slavery and... We, we face our punishment. The time for our punishment is over. But then these oppressors, these devils, these, these enemies of ours, they go a step further. And, you know, I mean, they put us on contaminated soil. 
That's right. So that we could suffer and die slowly right before the eyes and they can That's laugh. That's right. That's right. Good night. Con, I don't want con. We're going to read some more, man. It, it, it gets worse. Come on, Tom. Let me, let me just read a little bit of uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 50 real mm -hmm. quick for the brother. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 50, a nation of fierce countenance, mm -hmm. which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. If, if I could real quick. So Come on, Tom. Excellent. Because you got to think about, man, like think about the, this is this is terrorism. Right. This is domestic terrorism. Damn right. To put people on land that you know is contaminated, they might be young, old. You know, think about how many women probably lived in those homes and couldn't get pregnant and they just couldn't figure out why. Right. Or they or, or if they were they, please sir. Sir Lakita, but not to cut you off. Hold your thought. Mm -hmm. uh, just to add to what you're saying, what you're saying is so so heavy, brother. What about the sisters, right? The sisters who could make babies, but then mm -hmm. the babies came out deformed or exactly. stuff like that, man. Child, I don't want and, and they blame themselves right. for all of that when it's not their fault, man. That's right. So that's No, that's Go heavy, ahead. I don't want it. That's, Good, that's heavy. Go you know what I'm saying? So we, let's read some more of this, man. This, this, is, this is insane. Some more of this article. Um, remember, this article starts with, it's a nightmare. It says, it is considered one of the worst examples of environmental injustice in U.S. history, according to a recent Washington Post report. Mm -hmm. Some residents of the converted landfill are reportedly stuck with homes they can't resell and plagued with various forms of cancer and other sicknesses. About 5,000 residents won millions in state court judgments against the city, housing authority, and the local public school system, but officials have refused to pay the damages. Residents worry that the money may not be enough to buy new homes elsewhere in New Orleans. This is a quote. This case is a living example of the need for environmental justice, and it screams out as an example of environmental racism said Suzette Bagneris, the lead attorney for the residence's class action suit. The residents of the Agricultural Street landfill were hardworking, honest folks who worked multiple jobs trying to attain the American dream of home ownership, only to suffer an American nightmare when the very soil under their homes literally started to kill them. If someone Dude, tells me that I'm in a fucking cult again, I'm going to lose my mind. Because Cut. only Commander General Yohanna in the ISUP case since Damn 1969 right. is teaching the truth according to this Bible and showing our people you cannot trust these devils. Damn right. Damn right. This is not our words. We didn't, I didn't, what I just read, I don't even know if this woman that just said that is black. I don't even know. I'm going to read it again. I didn't make this up. We, right. I, I didn't, Commander General Yohanna didn't make this up. Cut. It says the, the residents of the agriculture street landfill were hardworking, honest folks, meaning they weren't criminals. They didn't have records because according to the American dream, of, oh, well, if you just, you know, if you live right, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Well, these mm -hmm. were hardworking, honest folks who worked multiple jobs trying to attain the American dream. There goes that dream again. I don't want to put it out. <laughs> yeah, Martin Luther King dream. Make us think that, you know what I mean? Everything going to be too wild. Everything yeah. going to be all right. Uh-huh. It's a goddamn lie. Adewan brought it out. Jeremiah 23 and 25. I have dreamed. I have dreamed. Everything's about a goddamn dream. And nobody they came work. to you. That's right. Damn right, Adewan. Salak you. It says, um, trying to attain the American dream of home ownership, only to suffer an American nightmare mm. when the mm. very soil under their homes literally started to kill them that's crazy the, the agriculture street landfill was the city's residential medical and industrial wasteland think about that yeah this what was it crazy. say that one time what it was it says, the agriculture street landfill was the city's residential medical 
and industrial wasteland a for nearly of, 50 years. A lot of biochemicals went into that Damn. soil. Y'all, y'all better listen to what I don't want to say. Yeah, man. Do you understand that when you go to a doctor's office, how, how many biochemicals are used in a hospital, in a doctor's office? Where do you think that stuff goes? In that same area where they sold the land for all black people. Exactly. Radiation does not, Radiation has a half-life that is usually thousands of years. See, see what they're talking about over there in Ukraine right now about Chernobyl. Yeah. Right. That accident happened over 30 years ago. Over 30 years ago, and it's still considered uninhabitable. And it won't be inhabitable by regular standards for like another 400 years. But the entire city of New Orleans was dumping all of their medical, industrial, and residential waste, many, a lot of which was uh, radioactive, into this landfill. And let's see what they then decided to do. The 95 acres of land was a city dump from 1909 until 1958. It was reopened for a year in 1965 for about 300 truck loans, truck loads of Hurricane Betsy debris per day. The waste was reduced to ashes when the landfill was closed. When the houses were built, the land was filled with high levels of lead, mm. dioxins, polysilic ar aromatic hydrocarbons, and arsenic. I don't even know what I don't even want to know what all that shit is. I'm just saying that even if you if you got if you I'm I'm, I'm not trying to be funny, Taba, but if a group of people like twenty thousand, thirty thousand people go pee in the same area over mm -hmm. a period of time, I wouldn't even sell that land for somebody to build on it. Right, pee, urine, Come. far less for bio hazard hazardous material. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's like. We are considered nothing in this kingdom, man. Right. Uh, uh, Keep so going, Tabby. No, Good. no, I don't want you just saying so so much. You know what I'm saying? Heavy metal. And I want everybody, man. Y'all better go find this article. This is on. I'm gonna put this in my in my records. Um, this is on Atlanta Black Star. It's a it's a nightmare. New Orleans built homes on a toxic landfill and encourage black residents to move there. Put this in your in your notes. You know why? Because how many times did they say that we was crazy? Because we told you that when you look at the, the black deaths uh, uh, because of uh, uh, hypertension, I heart put disease, in, the, in, the, in the chat. Come on, come on, there we go. A uh, 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 lung cancer. You know what I'm saying? Stomach cancer. All the different things that are known to plague black people. And we said since 1969, we, we the ISBK said that blamed the oppressor for all of this. Right. And they said, well, how could you blame him? How could you blame him? Da, da, da. Well, let me read on. It says, Salakia, it says the chemicals cause cancer, heart problems, mm. reduced lung function, mm and developmental problems in children along with other health disorders. Now you want to know why your kids can't get through the goddamn high school. Why your kids have learning disabilities. Reduced brain function. It's like an experiment for these motherfuckers. It's like an yeah. effing yeah. I don't want you just, yeah. I mean. Yeah. No, you don't, I don't want it. Please. Now this shit pissing me off because you see at the end of the day, we, we've been treated like, like nothing in this place. And there, there are some of us, you know what I mean, in the so-called conscious community, religious leaders and stuff, that wants us to love everybody and kiss everybody on the lips. That shit is not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I pray that our people wake up and get unplugged from this simulation, you know? this, this lie that we've been taught. You know what I mean? Yes, lucky. This is this disgusting, Taba. It's just, just a little bit more, man, and we can get a scripture and go on to the, to the next yeah. thing. Lock you. It says city officials claimed they had no idea about the extent of the contamination. You're lying. New Orleans Mayor Victor Shiro and the city's housing authority agreed to build the housing development on the tainted land in 1967. It was meant to attract black people 
who at the time battled redlining and other discriminatory barriers to home ownership. The city's first mayor, first black mayor, Ernest Nathan Morial, also bolstered the campaign to create a middle-class black neighborhood that included Gordon Plaza, an elementary school, a public housing development called Press Park Apartments, and a senior housing complex. All of it was reportedly declared a Superfund site by the EPA in 1994. Gordon Plaza resident Shinda Dedman told The Guardian in December 2019 that she has watched nearly everyone on her block either get cancer or suffer from other serious diseases, including family members. Dedman's mother died of cancer and her father was diagnosed with a brain tumor. The Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry discovered a breast cancer cluster. Black women in the community's census tract had a 57% excess risk of breast cancer over nine years, ending in 1997. In addition, a 2019 report by the Louisiana Tumor Registry found that the census tract where houses sit had the second highest consistent rate in Louisiana. You could smell it and feel it on your skin and feel it in your lungs said Wilma Subra, a technical advisor who conducted tests on the school. Let me get the scripture right here, Baba Kishore. Ezekiel 22 and 29. Come, come. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 22 and verse 29. Mm -hmm. The people of the land have used oppression. We'll say that one more time, Tabawan. The people of the land have used oppression. One more time, if you could. The people of the land have used oppression. Now, if that is not an oppressive story based on what happened to our people, and the people of the land is talking about is the people who run this place, who are enemies, who are the oppressor, who are the devil the Bible speaks of, that's right. The people of the land have used oppression. Keep reading, brother. Come on. And exercised robbery. How did they exercise robbery? How did we come over here? They stole us from where we was and brought us over here. They stole the land from the Native Americans and then they put them on reservations. Now, they're stealing our lives by putting us on contaminated land. All of that is robbery. All of it. You come into somebody's yard and you pick up a pin or a pebble. You're robbing them. Because it's not your place. That's right. And this is what has happened to us. These people of this land, America, and all other areas where we reside in, where we don't have no power, and their government system and their system rule over us, they have used oppression, man. They have systematically oppressed us in every manner, shape, or form that we can fathom in our psyche. Our brothers and sisters had to die horrible deaths while they study us like guinea pigs and laugh at our demise. It's still going on today. The Tuskegee experiment, you know what I mean? bringing syphilis and gonorrhea in blankets for the Native Americans. You feel me? Okay. It's the same thing. They exercise robbery. Salaki, sir. Come on, Taba. If, if I could, I just want to get my charger from my laptop real quick, sir. Salaki. Come no sweat. I'm, 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 I'm going right to keep going. Come on, come on. You too well. You know what I mean? I'm going to read the scripture from the top. The people of the land have exercised, has used oppression. It's oppression. That killed George Floyd. It's oppression. Ahmaud Arbery's oppression. Breonna Taylor. It's oppression. That 200, um, 2 million of our black brothers and sisters in prison inside of America. It's oppression. As the brother said, they give the Aztecs blankets with smallpox. You know what I mean? He said uh, they built cities on, 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 on our bones. You know what I mean? That's oppression. We had to be enslaved and work for free for over 300 years plus. You know what I mean? Two and a half, 
for free. Then come the civil rights. Then come mass incarceration. Then come drugs in our communities, abortion clinics, and then religious leaders who molest our kids and lie to us while we die in the streets of America and everywhere else. They use oppression and exercise robbery and have vexed the poor and needy. How the hell are you trying to tell me like inside of America, you giving people homes to live knowing well that the soil that the land, the houses are built on contaminated, man? How wicked is that? And then I'm supposed to fucking love everybody, right? I'm supposed to love everybody and kiss them, hug them, you know what I mean? Rainbows, unicorns, and skittles. I, I say it all the time because it's true. That's right. what is required of us. You know what I mean? A song and fucking mirth, laughter. While we're getting beat on our backs and our knees getting sunk in our, our, our back of our necks, we got to laugh and giggle. These people have used oppression and exercise robbery and have vexed the poor and the needy, man. That's right. Yeah. They have oppressed the stranger wrongfully. We're strangers to this place, man. We were robbed from our identity, our history, our heritage, and our culture when we, our ancestors came over as slaves. And anybody who wants to negate that, they can kiss my ass. <laughs> Salak. Come, come. It's disgusting, Tawan. For real. Come, come. Hey, hey, Salak, so can we get some of um, Ayar? Ayar has some, has some excellent uh, comments. We said, um, we talked about they built the city. They built their cities. Yeah, I, I already put that up on the screen. Yeah. Oh, God, oh, Salak, so y'all was... Uh, uh, what, what does he say? He said, um... They know that the time are coming. And the sword shall get all right. Bam! I put that up already. Boom! And he right. You know what I mean? He right Kong for Kong. what he's saying. But right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Damn right. Come on, come. I'm gonna read a little bit more of the article. Uh, yeah. We running, you no, know, running out of time, but we're gonna. Uh, just yeah, we just closed on this article right here. We we gotta bounce. I I I got a slide too. Come on, come. Come on, come. Um, I'm just gonna we're, we're gonna um, we're not gonna read through the next article, but I do just want to just bring it out just to show it. You know what I'm saying? Just to show people the last thing we were gonna talk about. We're gonna continue to to follow up this next story. But let's the end Ukraine with thing? This, this, uh, the Ukraine Mexico thing. Uh, Count Con, that one. Yeah, but let me just finish this. It says um, uh, residents filed two two class action lawsuits in 1993. City workers testified that they were aware of the contaminated soil. The EPA conducted soil tests at the former landfill in 1986. The results were kept secret, secret, and residents were reportedly told the land was safe. When the EPA returned in 1993, a majority of residents asked to be relocated. According to reports, instead of paying about $12 million to move the families out of the area, the EPA spent $20 million to swap a three-foot layer of contaminated dirt for clean dirt in just 10% of the development. They told residents then the land was safe. But residents were leery because workers wore gas masks and hazmat suits. I can remember it like it was yesterday. Resident Good Jesse night. Perkins said they were looking like astronauts. Good night. There's a lot more to this. I encourage everybody to click on the link or to uh, to copy and paste the link that Ottawa put into the chat. This is I've never heard of this. I never did either. until I today. I know. never heard of this, this and is this awful. is an egregious, diabolical, sick. You want to talk about Ukraine? You want to talk about Chernobyl? When Chernobyl happened, guess what? They kept that secret from the residents for. I know. I watched the show. Many of us, many brothers and sisters, we've seen the show. We've read about it. When Chernobyl happened in 1986, they didn't say anything to the residents of um of that 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 area right next to the plant. Right. They didn't say anything to them for like two days, two or three days. Huh. Which was bad enough. But after three days, they told everybody what happened and they evacuated them. Meanwhile, they moved black people into this neighborhood. In the 60s. And they didn't find out until 20 plus years later. 
what was going on. The oppressor is the goddamn devil the Bible speaks of. The white man is the devil the Bible speaks of. Damn right. I must say it plain. Kind of and, come. And, and, and again, listen, the, to, to, to some of you dumb, stupid ass people, black, white, all, all colors, we're not, we're not saying that everybody wicked and everybody, you know what I mean? There, there are some good white folks. You know what I mean? Just like there are good black people and bad black people and mm -hmm. Asians and so on and so forth. But as a nation of people, these motherfuckers, they, they, they're the devil. You know That's what right. I mean? We, we, I mean, we got some, um, the last time I was, we were in Charlotte, there was, there was excellent, wonderful white lady. You yes. Know what I mean? How did she, yeah. how did she show she was excellent, sir? Yeah, she was on the floor kissing my boot. That's right. The priest of the prophet. Right. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, there there are good white folks. There are good, you know what I mean? Law abiding citizens <laughs> who might get the chance in the kingdom. But outside of that, the track record have shown that they are the most disgusting and vile people on the face of the earth. That's right. Because every other race can attest to their treachery, their, their evil and wickedness. I ask, ask the people from um, um, uh, in Hiroshima mm -hmm. and Nagasaki. I ask, ask the, the Arabs, you know what I mean? Uh, in in uh, what was that place name where Bin Laden from? Saudi Arabia or Iraq? Iraq. I ask them. I ask them. You know what I mean? I ask, ask the ozone layer who the devil is. Right. And all the fish and, 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 and all the wildlife, the, the lions that get killed for no reason and, and end up on the wall. Their head end up on the wall of some rich white guy. I, I ask them. You all get the fucking point? Like, no time we wake up out of, out of the sleep that we in, man. Out of Christianity and all these other things that has us docile and thinking that we've made it because we have a little money and, and whatnot inside of this place. The powers that be so-called, the, the, the people who run the place, they don't care about us. Right. And you see it every day. So wake up, man. That's right. Wake up. Come. Yeah. Uh, Officer Bagaibu had a question out of one on Daniel eleven twenty one. You want me to read it? Um, I, I see, I seen it. I put it up just now. Um, my bad. I, I'm so pissed off with this whole thing. This way. His question was, could uh, Daniel eleven twenty one be used for the situation? The yeah, scripture says... Uh, you got it? Come, come. Most accurate. Book, book of Daniel chapter 11 and verse 21. And in his estate shall stand up a vile person mm -hmm. to whom they shall not give the honor of the kingdom. But he shall come in peaceably and obtain the kingdom by flatteries. I'm not familiar with that, that, that scripture. I can't, I can't really break that down for you. So come, come. Come, come. Come, yeah, right. come. I'm going to write it down. Come. I'm going to write it down. Um, You know, so perhaps next week. Uh, come. We'll we can, we can always break, break that down for you, brother. You know what I mean? Next mm -hmm. week. Lord allow. You know what I mean? Come, but, um, we, this is how we, we will talk. If, if you don't remember the scripture and the breakdown for the scripture, it's better you ask a brother who is above that's you. Right. That's right. That's right. I mean, to break it down, and then I can come with the proper breakdown for you. you know what I mean, no, another one, can't. Tab one. No, can't. Uh, probably no, um, Captain Igarwa probably knew, but he's not here with us, so you know what right. I'm saying. Come Again, come. big up to Captain Igarwa, man. You know what I mean. Big up yourself, out of one. All right, Most High in Christ. Come, come. Where, we, where, where we at? We we, we touching on the Ukraine because we gotta go, Taba. I think. Uh, up. yeah, we're not gonna. Like I said, we're not gonna get into. I just want to just put it up, but just mm -hmm. so I can see real quick what's going on. Um, and then we gonna be so five minutes, maybe less, probably less. Okay, um, Most High in Christ. Come on, come on, yeah. Let me just go to it. Uh, where we at? Right here. Come on, come on. This is the one that says, "Um, U.S. speeds entry for Ukraine." Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, so that's pretty much it right there. U.S. speeds entry for Ukrainians as more reach Mexico border. The United States has sharply increased the number of Ukrainians uh, admitted to the country at the Mexican border. As even more refugees fleeing the Russian invasion follow the same circuitous route, 
a government re uh, recreation center in the Mexican border city of Tijuana grew to about a thousand refugees Thursday, according to city officials, a canopy under which children played soccer only two days earlier was packed with people in rows of chairs and lined with bunk beds. Uh, Tijuana had suddenly become a final stop for Ukrainians seeking refuge in the United States, where they are drawn by friends and families ready to host them and are convinced the U.S. will be more suitable, suitable uh, a more suitable haven uh, than Europe. Um, word has spread rapidly on social media that a loose volunteer coalition, largely from Slavic churches in the western United States, is guiding hundreds of refugees daily from the Tijuana airport to contemporary shelters where they wait two to four days, two to four days, huh, for U.S. officials to admit them on humanitarian parole. In less than two weeks, volunteers worked with U.S. and Mexican officials to build a remarkably efficient and expanding network to provide food, security, transportation, and shelter. This is so fucking disgusting. It's, it's on a different level of disgust. That's the, end the of hypocrisy that of America. You know what I mean? The hypocrisy of America. You all hate the Mexicans. You all push them off their land. You know what I mean? You, you, you all push them off their land. That's their land. And now they, 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 they're in cages. But then these, these so-called Ukrainians can slide through because it's a humanitarian effort. Man, y'all can kiss my ass with that shit. I'm mad. There's one more I, part, and we're done. Yeah, I, oh, just, I, just, 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 I just also want to read this little part so you can remember. I'm just going to refresh it. Huh, no it sweat. Says, no sweat. Um, it's the last sentence of the article. In less than two weeks, <laughs> volunteers worked with U.S. and Mexican officials to build a remarkably efficient and expanding, that means growing, network to provide food security transportation and shelter two weeks two weeks two weeks <laughs> alex Federchuk. that's a gay name but anyway how many weeks have my brothers and sisters been in cages at this very border what about when my Haitian brothers tried to get through that same border when they were being murdered in their home? They were at war too. Anastasia Derezinko, a Ukrainian refugee. Look at him. My man, my man got the damn the the the, the night sleep. A refugee from Buka. Look, got all kind of potatoes. They eating good, playing frisbee. Look at them. Yeah, they're happy. Oh, frisbee. They got Wi-Fi. They're, they're happy. They're good. They're living good. Now, yeah, man. Now let's get this would be the last one if we could out of one. Unless you got something else, let's get the picture of them, uh, 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 of them whipping and forcing my Haitian brothers on horseback. When my brothers were trying to get through the same border, Come. and while you're doing that, I'm gonna get a picture of the babies at the, uh, in the cages. Come. And we going we going to end it here. Again, we appreciate all of y'all brothers and sisters for tuning in with us. Um, uh, yeah, I got it. I got. I got it right here. Uh, uh, let, me, let me get rid of this real fast. I, I got it right here. Let, okay. Let's show you. Let's show you all the difference. The absolute difference. When all people on the border, how they've been treated. You know what I mean? Ukrainians playing frisbee. They they having a ball of a time. Mm -hmm. Let, let's let's see let's see what what happens to our brothers. You know what I mean? When 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 they on the border of of of, of um America. It's, it's right here, it's right here. Here we go. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah, Cover all your needs with our digital marketplace at Template. I'm tired of these stupid ads. For Jax is running a viral social media claim through the trust index tonight about U.S. Customs and Border Patrol agents allegedly whipping Haitian migrants. As it's not alleged. The United States. Stupid ass. The dramatic it, it, scene it has drawn widespread condemnation from both the White House politicians and the public. But were CBP agents really using whips and were the migrants physically assaulted? The News for Jax Trust Index team is giving this claim a rating of not true. And this is the reason why. This video originally captured by Al Jazeera shows U.S. Border Patrol agents on horseback trying to stop Haitian migrants from entering an encampment on the banks of the Rio Grande on Sunday. Can you but pause it real quick? Can captured by photographer so Paul Ritchie that's led to widespread criticism. Oregon huh. Senator Jeff. This right here is what the, f this is what, this is what we're talking about on, on being unplugged from the Matrix. Um, because if you just rely on what they're telling you and you just go with what they say mm -hmm. and you don't actually examine these things, you'll think that the fuck, excuse me, that the important part is whether or not they use actual whips like that matters. You see the, 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 the hypocrisy and the, just the, the, the wizardry they, they use, whether they use whips or not. They just admitted that they were on horseback trying to physically prevent Haitian migrants from entering the country. That's what happened. They used physical force to prevent Haitian refugees from entering the country. That's what took place. That's this not, not. This is not fucking playing frisbee. This is not. Yeah, they're not. They're that's that's, that's the, the point. Country. They're not, they're not our Haitian brothers right there in that picture not having a ball of a time, right? There's no frisbee being thrown. There's an animal that you know, some a large animal and and some uh, uh, law enforcement that is preventing this man who is trying to save his life from entering the country. Meanwhile, the the uh, 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 the the, the uh, migrants from Buka. Duskinov and, and, and Jaroslav and all of them, they're playing frisbee. Yep. They got they got they got free Wi-Fi. Where's the Wi-Fi for the brother without shoes on his feet with a bag with a bag with water and food for probably his family or himself? Where, where the Wi-Fi? Where's the Wi-Fi? Where where's the Wi-Fi? Where's the pillows? If you go back in that video, they got pillows and nice blankets and the yeah, and the little mats so they can get some shut eye yeah, comfortable. Let me, let, me, let me show this picture real quick. We gonna clip it out of one. I know we got we over the time. Okay. Let me show this real quick. They got pillows and all that. It's so beautiful. It's nice. It's just so comfortable. Yeah. But look at look, look at my brothers. Where's the pillows? You want to see the pillows? Where's the Wi-Fi? Where's, where's, where's the Wi-Fi right here? Let me show you how nice and comfortably they lying down. Nice, colorful, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Blankets and everything. They got the suitcases and everything. Even suitcases and the, the blankets, yes. Yeah, the nice. beautiful, different color blankets. Now, I don't want, if you could, now, now show them, let them see uh, the one I got shared up there. Huh. If you could, there we go. The water, sir. I like how you just did that. Shit, show them what they you what they got. Versus what we got, y'all see it. You see them. You see them. Them heads laying right on the floor. Y'all see the difference. So when your Christian pastor open his goddamn mouth and say we gotta love everybody, we can't. You see them babies? No, we're not seeing no love. That's them. That's Look them that. over there. That's 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 them with the nice, colorful, they they open uh -huh. space and everything. Mm -hmm. And this all brothers and sisters. That's right. You gotta unplug yourself from this society, man. <laughs> that, that's that's all I got out of one. Yeah, that's all Until I got. Until next time. We 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 next week. I, I got nothing to say. You just better be there. I so hope matter of fact, I hope some of y'all pull up. I hope yeah, you for real. there. Like for real. Like, like there at the show. Like be there with us. You are invited formally to be there. Right. <laughs> We're going to be doing what we always do. 
Hey, listen, Unplugged from the Matrix podcast. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for joining us. You know what I mean? We're not going to do a whole roll call right now, but thank you for every brother and sister. Tons of y'all brothers and sisters joining us today. Who water so much, you know what I'm saying? Priston Officer of a Thousand, as a Priston Officer of a Thousand, Taba Wanya Hawada, you know what I mean? My right-hand man on the left. Captain Ugarwap of 10,000 couldn't be with us today because mm -hmm. he got stuff going on. He got to deal right. with stuff preparing, leading up to the Passover, you know what I mean? Pay your tithes, man. Don't forget to pay your tithes to the men of the Lord. You know what I mean? And don't forget, don't ever forget, Commanding General Yohanna every week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, blackwatch.news. You know what That's I mean? Right. On YouTube, Facebook. You know what I mean? And you could go www.blackwatch.news. You know what I mean? And get Amen. more info. Donate to the channel as well. You know what I mean? Let, let the cash up light out, man. That's right. You know I mean, we invest a lot of equipment and different things into making sure that we bring this truth to our people. We're not doing it for clout. We're not looking for no Oscar award or no Grammy. No pun intended by me saying that. That's right. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Tune in next week, Lord of Love. Cocoa Beach, Florida. You know what I mean? The last 55th annual Passover. You know what I mean? We gonna get it rocking, man. Damn right. Somebody Can't said wait something. To see there, man. Somebody said something. I just see a new comment down here. Oh, Moses and Christ. Hey, shalom, y'all. Bashim, y'all. Shabbat shalom to everybody. Y'all, yeah, shalom, y'all. Shalom, y'all. Shalom, y'all. Shalom, y'all. Shalom, y'all. Shalom. See y'all next week, man. Hey, shalom, shalom, taba. Khan of the one, Khan. Shalom, I don't want y'all. Bashim, da. Y'all, bashim, shabbat shalom. Da. Let's get it. I'm, 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 I'm gonna play that tune. You know what I mean? <laughs> just, just a little. Yeah, I'm gonna play that tune, Tabba. I'm gonna play that tune, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, make me, make me go again. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I won west to the dead. Yeah. Fuck everything else. Big boot on me fringes. Gala tell me say she love the we how me change it. Everything sign and seal. Gala tell me say she love the deal. Yeah. Big boot on me fringes. Gala tell me say she love the we how me change it. If I know you became my youth, me I tell you no straight home. I know my business. Yeah. Man, I move real heavy. Twenty man, I jump out a couple Chevy. Well, serious. Man, I look happy. Rap move to that boy in a doppy. Them a waste, man. Them a talk about me, but me no care, man. After everything else, me still be upon. Judge a truth, me a talk at the truth and the part me a stay upon. Yeah. Delivered it off fire. Everything up in the air, live wire, bonfire. Baraka Tala Hawa. All of me dead, so let them have the rising power. Liar, Sha'Allah. This year, what for all my brothers and my sisters? We get cut off early. Big boots and my fringes. Girl, I tell me, say she really love all the changes. If I know you became my youth, me, I tell him straight out. I know my business. Yeah. Big boots and my braids, man. Yeah. Me, not left me shades, man. Special type of gun for this occasion. Hardcore. Can't tip on me right hand. Everything talking real neat Tell a boy I come just through him No see this great Him a trouble for bread I am no shot Me conscience with a speak Rats and snakes them truck get slit Yeah, me give them the realness Don't start freak out When 200 million of me niggas them out Yeah, shot in a face, shot in a mouth Rise it up Balance the soul reaper Make evil safer Yeah well, I don't know what I'm saying. I the truth though. I saw the thing go, man. Move. Big boot on my fringes. Girl, I tell me say she love the way how me change it. If I know you became my youth, me I tell you no straight out. I know my business. Big boot on my fringes. Big, big boot on my fringes. Big boot on my fringes. Yeah, I'm told. One West. And nothing else.
53rd Annual Los Angeles Passover. 53rd Annual Lord's Passover is going to be held down here in Florida. It's going down. You're here tonight to get a chance to be righteous enough to be worthy of God. Come on, to say That's right. It's going down. The Lord's 53rd Annual Passover. When we say we know power, we stop that business. We know power up in here. Book your hotels now at the Holiday Inn Express and Suites. The IHG Hotel, 301 Fucker Lane, Cocoa Beach. Florida, 32926. Hey, here's a lot of men down. You dealing with the men of war. We at war. I sided with the men of war. Look, how's it going, your dishes, pots, and sports nights? I got a life. This is like a party. This whole town is a beautiful man. This here right here is about to be holy ground. It's going to be holy grand for all our beautiful, wonderful brothers and sisters from all over the world. You understand? We can boast that now. Brothers and sisters coming not only from this every state, but from all over the world. I heard the numbers this year is ridiculous. We had to buy out the whole hotel. Friday, April 15th at the Space Coast Convention Center. This is going to be glorious. We don't give a fuck. You can see it in our face. Got it out the mud. Straight up out the Tune in to Unplug from the Matrix every Friday from 12 to 2 p.m. Get unplugged. Preaching proper to the Lord, gotta teach this people. Exposing all the lies was the truth. Now they can see the evil. We the lost children of the Lord. Yasha Allah, chopping heads off with my sword. Holy Bible, one west, one west, one west, one west, one west.